Good question. First of all, uh, let's imagine we're living in the time of the Prophet and we heard that the Prophet was ill and in pain. Would we not pray for him? It's not that the Prophet needs my du'as, right? But me praying for the Prophet is an expression of my love towards Rasulullah. And if the Prophet was sick, wouldn't I pray for him? Now, the Imam of our time is in more pain than we could ever begin to imagine. Number one, because he's all alone. May my parents be ransomed for him. The Imam's loneliness is worse than Imam al Hussein on the plains of Karbala. Al Gharib al Tarid, the hadiths call him. The lonely one, the outcast. Why he's an outcast is something we'll talk about inshallah in the future. It's a painful discussion. So number one, he's alone. Number two, imagine a father whose child gets killed. The grief they experience is unimaginable. unimaginable. Am, I, am I wrong? Now imagine the father of this entire community seeing all of these tragedies, seeing the persecution, seeing the killings, seeing the carnage, seeing the massacres, what he goes through on a daily basis is beyond description. Number two. Number three, the fact that Imam al-Mahdi remembers the tragedy of Aba Abdullah al Hussein every single day. So the, the pain that the Imam is going through is a million times worse than the pain of someone who is simply ill, physically suffering. And so given that he is in this state, you said the Imam is strong, of course he's strong. But so was Imam al Hussein on the day of Ashura. So was Amir al muminin when he was struck by Ibn Muljam. At the end of the day, the Imams were humans. In other words, they, had, they, they suffered the same pains and, and they, they got hungry and they got thirsty and they, they, they uh, grieved when they lost the loved one. The Imam is the embodiment of all of these pains. Now, does he need my du'as and my prayers? Who am I? Who am I compared to Imam Zaman? But I need him. And so, as I said last night, when you pray for the Imam, he prays for you. You show him that you care for him. And Allah loves us because of that. 